my name is Will and welcome to the Distorted Transmission for today. I'm talking to a two-piece crust grind band, Polvenar. How are you guys? Yeah, good, thank Doing you. Good, thanks. Could you uh, introduce yourself, please, for the people watching? Um, my name is Les. I'm guitar and vocals. Um, I'm Brian. I'm uh, drums and some vocals. You guys have been around since about 2017, I believe. Uh, could you give me like a brief history of the band? I suppose because it's just been you the whole time, right? It's a pretty, it's a pretty easy timeline. That's a really good story. Can I tell a little story? Yeah, definitely. So we played in, um, when we had these street punk and narco bands thing in um, South Africa. I mean, we're, we're pretty, we're a bit older, so there was no Facebook in our day. And Brian played in a band very similar to a band that I played in when we were quite young. So we'd always kind of known of each other, but never had the advantage of Facebook and adding each other as friends. So it was really cool when we finally met. Obviously, we started playing in a band together immediately. Yeah. And then when we moved over here, we were like, hey, you know, less less people, less yes. drama kind of thing. And, you know, less influences. And I think we just got to do what we wanted to do, which is just hard, just, fast and heavy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we played as a three-piece in South Africa and we had a bassist, a good good friend of ours who's moved to the UK recently. But yeah, when we moved here, we thought, well, what do we do? Do we get a bassist or how do we actually do this as a two-piece? And, you know, we went to a rock shop one day and um, bought a whole bunch of gear and said, well, just help us out what pedals and crap do you recommend, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard, hard to develop. Obviously, we've built on the sound from there of the guitar splitting and just everything that goes with that. And it's slowly evolving and getting better. But it's difficult as well to find people you gel with enough to make good music with. So we've got one other side project um, called Contort with our friend Mark, who's from Birmingham. And right. I mean, that's fun because we get along well with him. But I don't know, I think you get to an age where you want to you want to be quite close with the people you're playing music with. So for us, the two pieces. It's worked pretty literally, well, Literally, yeah, literally <laughs> our child. <Yeah. laughs> it's just dawned on me that that's where I know you from, Brian. I know you from the Napier Death Fest. Yes. I met you there, yeah, right? I, yeah, you were the, I think you were one of the only guys wearing a mask. <laughs> Good on you. And, um, <laughs> Not that it mattered. <laughs> yeah, they got COVID. I was fine. <laughs> yeah, we, we got covid but liz was fine um so yeah that was, that was a great place um great festival nice to meet a bunch of new people you know meet and greet and infect perfect <laughs> i was actually wondering liz how you how you do your sort of guitar splitting do you like do it like use an octaver because I, I because i haven't seen you guys live and i was wondering how you sort of get the bottom end i used to use an octaver but now i've just got i've just got it split uh through a switchblade Right. And then I've got quite a lot of distortion and bass coming through on the bass cab and the bass head. And then my guitar is what it is. So there's no lag or echo or octave or anything like that. It's just purely the switchblade. Yeah, it's been a... But yeah, for now, I'm still, I'm still growing as in terms of what I want and where we're going. I think it's a, a constantly evolving thing. All right, so let's see. Um, you had a seven-track limited edition cassette out on Limitless Music uh, in October 2019. Uh, and that was your last sort of musical release, but now you've got a, a new EP coming out, I believe. So would you like to tell me a little bit about what you're going to be releasing? Yeah, so we, it's, I mean, timing has it's been a bit of a funny one because it's been, you know, sort of between lockdowns and, and things like that. So we were a bit delayed from COVID, which is, you know, it's affected many bands, I guess, in the, in the past year or so um but yeah we we've, we've got it done and um yeah looking forward to releasing it um it's six tracks um yeah you know we, um, we can... yeah. recorded by sloth boy our friend who did wolves as Josh. well yeah. yeah just great to work with really supportive just goes out of his way to make you feel comfortable yeah so, great yeah i mean the the first one we recorded in 2019 um that tape said we did it ourselves, you know, so it was a very a big, big learning curve to yeah. <laughs> record ourselves and try and get it as good as we could. It actually sounded pretty good, I thought. I thought it sounded, it sounded good. We did a sort of DIY, made yeah. a little vocal booth. We and... made the vocal booth out of, um, out of like bookshelves and, <laughs> and mattress chopper. It was a wild one. Yeah, we did it in the garage. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I mean, luckily we can do a lot of our work here in-house, you know. We, I, I built a band room close to when we you know pretty much when we bought this house and i just built a nice band room and we practiced there recorded there and uh, 
shot a few little video clips and stuff, things like that. So yeah, that's we've been pretty lucky, I guess, to mm -hmm. have that space. And so on the back of this of this EP, you're going to be doing a little tour. Uh, so maybe this would be the time for you to use your memory because apparently you can uh, you can just call forth these dates. So let's put that to the test. I think we were looking at just doing maybe one, you know, uh, release gig in Auckland, and then it sort of has grown to every single weekend in August. So we'll just deem it as the tour months of our EP release, although it's, you know, a bit other gigs happening as well. So it's the 5th of August at the Thirsty Dog with some awesome bands, the 12th of August uh, and in Christchurch with other awesome bands from the area. We're also doing a bit of a South Island trip and, you know, we, we were planning to do a few more, but unfortunately, the, you know, gigs aren't that easy to book these days, it seems. Everyone has just booked up months in yeah, advance. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, luckily we got that one. And then if my memory serves me correct, the 20th of August, we've been confirmed for Loser Palooza, which is in Taringa, which will be our first time playing there. And then the 27th of August in Hamilton with Tascoma and yourself as well, which should be a banger. So yeah, it just turned out into a nice every single weekend in August. And then to top it off, we'll go to Napier Death Fest on the 3rd of September, not playing, but supporting and always like to go there. So that takes us to sort of five weeks nonstop of, of music. You know? It's really cool that we get to play with Tuscoma because we actually played our first gig in New Zealand with Tuscoma true, true. and it was like such an inspiration for us. We were like, oh my God, we need to up our game. That was awesome. I saw your uh, video for Tensions Heightened as well. I saw it um, probably about a week ago and I didn't know much about Povena itself. So I sort of looked at it on face value and I I didn't actually realize that it was just two of you. I thought maybe there were some more people in the band sort of popping in and out. And it was only just recently that I realized that there are, in fact, only two of you and all the characters, if you like, in the video are all just you in, in different costumes. How did you actually get that together? Was it, was it just like a big green screen and a weekend or what? Yeah, it was a day. We put a green screen up in our garage and Brian's brother um, filmed us. Yeah. And a lot of the costumes were kind of come up with on the spot. And it was, costumes. A, yeah, costumes. It was a bit of a piss take. Um, but you, it's a, it's a, it is a joke video. We were really hesitant to do a serious video. It's just something I'm personally, I, I get quite embarrassed quite quickly. So I didn't feel comfortable doing a serious video. Yeah. So we, we try to do a fun one. But um, yeah, it was quite cool because people from um, his old band, Touch by Nausea, supported us with that. Like Grant filmed, Kamal did the editing. The editing yeah. so, so we had some, it some was good help just, with it. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you. Experience. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned about the characters in there because that's exactly what we were going for to, I don't know, create a bit of confusion perhaps uh, for yeah. the the viewer because we are two people but we're doing the jobs of sort of three or four or five people in a band, you know. My whatever. dog's stuck outside. I'm so sorry. It's really cool. Right. Just have to get our dog. Yeah, she our dog who happened to be in the music video, so she'll maybe make an appearance now again. The real star of the show, I guess. Yeah, this yeah. is the real stuff. Yeah, she, Sorry. Okay. We got stuck at yeah, The last thing uh, to ask you is, uh, it's really just about plans for the future. What have you got going on beyond the CP, beyond the tour? Have you, have you got any plans beyond that? I think with the time we get, um, it's, it's quite important for us to just push ourselves as musicians. Um, you know, we both work full-time jobs and we have goals and we've got to be quite disciplined to get there. So... I guess just writing more and releasing more things and just just evolving. That's that's kind of our yeah. thing. Just yeah. getting heavier and better and faster and better on my part. Faster and growlier and heavier. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're looking to do some more releases, some full lengths, and yeah, touring is also quite a, an an interest of ours as well. We've unfortunately been delayed recently with COVID and mm. that, and my previous bands had to it. Europe and Southeast Asia. <clears throat> so, you know, at some point we'd like to hit the international scene as well. Uh, yeah, because it would be a lot easier for us uh, logistically. Yeah, two people, right. Yeah. Make a bit of a holiday out of it and romantic trip in Venice or something like that. The so, honeymoon. The, the, all of those <laughs> kinds of things we all have. Because you're a couple, you can also like, like share a small room together. Yes. Without sort of getting 
in each other's way. Whereas if my band are touring or like going around the country, like sleeping up close next to each other in a small room is quite uncomfortable. <laughs> That's yeah. a funny comment because it goes, it kind of goes both ways. So there's two of us, great, but there's only two of us to split the cost as well. Right, when it I suppose comes so, yeah. to anything merch, Shoot. final, it gets, it gets a bit everything. wild. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's about all the questions I have for you. Um, best of luck with your uh, with your EP release and your EP tour, I suppose you might call it. And I'll see you. Um, I'll see you at the Tuscoma gig if I don't see you before. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's been great talking to you. And um, you know, we'd just like to say thanks to everyone who supported us and helped us. Um, you know, coming here, we didn't really know anyone, and we had to sort of build up from that. And the help and support we've got has just been fantastic. Um, you know, New Zealand's been a great place for us to 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 build ourselves up. So um, yeah, we're really grateful for that. Brutal fucking hails. Brutal hails. Cool. Thanks for watching.